Hello, Madeline. This is going to be a short video. This is my prayer book for Nichiren Shoshu Buddhist organization I belong to. These are pictures of Mount Fuji, where the head 700-year-old temple is, where I've been to twice in Japan in the five trips I've been to Japan. There's a picture of me in, in Mount Fuji. And the next picture is just a picture of one of the many temples there. There's pictures of priests. The third priest on the right is who initiated me into the Tokyo Buddhist temple the first day. The Tokyo Sky Tree, and our, there's a couple pictures of Tokyo Sky Tree and the view from the Tokyo Sky Tree. The next pictures are women that I met below the Tokyo Sky Tree when I was thinking I need to learn no myoho riki kyo we tap into it i met these exact ladies at that moment it's a picture it's a picture of amy who is the person who got me back on track with no myoho riki kyo pictures of members of, it was amy and me and her husband other members at the temple there's a short little picture of the prayer book that's 32 pages long and now these are scenes from amy's house where i stayed two weeks in japan okay this is doug i am holding my can uh, my canon GoPro camera. Um, Amy and Yahoo aren't home, so I'm hoping to uh, film a kind of quick tour of the place where I've been staying and probably where I'm going to be staying in the future, at least for a couple weeks when I come to Japan. Um, this is the kitchen. It's a little different than some of the kitchens I've had. It's very lived in. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Amy uh, obviously cooks here, breakfast, dinner. Um, this is kind of the, this, that's the refrigerator, small TV. The dining room tables are usually like this in Japan because people don't sit in chairs. They sit um, um, cross-legged or sit um, versus a chair. Uh, this is where I'm working on just sitting with my computer um, because I have the heat on. It's kind of a cool, damp day today, kind of rainy. I knew it was going to be like this. This is the latest I've been. By the way, this is laundry being hung because they don't have a dryer. Uh, I'm not going to show the video inside their daughter's room, but it's right through these doors here. They have a 12 year old daughter. Um, I, in a minute, I'm going to go down. There's three essential, three levels. Um, there's a toilet through this door that I do use in the middle of the night, just a regular toilet. There's a stairway that goes down to the entryway in the place that we chant. Uh, this is the stairway up to where I stay. And I have a futon on the floor, which is pretty customary. It's like, it's pretty comfortable. Um, these windows both open to the view. Again, it, it's a kind of overcast gray day. It's not currently raining, but it's probably about 45 degrees Fahrenheit here. It's December 8th. It's about 10 days before I leave. So this is where I stay. I have all my stuff here, basically my three pieces of luggage, a small luggage that folds up in my backpack, just kind of spread on the floor, obviously. It's a real comfortable room I have. I thought this was a television at first. This is um, the heater, which I have been turning on recently when I am up here, but I turn it off when I'm not using it. Uh, across this room, as where sometimes I set up my computer right here at this desk, there's a view out the window. Um, I, I'm currently downstairs. But this is just this another room um, next to the room I'm staying at. So basically, when we are here sleeping, I'm, I'm sleeping in my room. Their daughter is sleeping on the room next to the kitchen. And then they sleep down where the place that we chant. Uh, we've been chanting at 6 a.m. every morning. And usually in the evening at some point together. Um, Amy and her husband Yao, uh, Yuhei. So I'm going down there. I asked permission to film that room, and I have to t close the Guanzan because they can't open 
and film or take pictures of the Guanza. This is going down to the entryway, which obviously the lights are not on. There's a washer right here. This is where I take a shower through here. There's the washer. That's where I take a shower. There's a bathtub. This is kind of customary for a... Now normally they don't have their bed laid out like this. It's normally all folded out. But there's a sink. And there's another toilet here. When I have to use the restroom in the middle of the night, I usually will use the one upstairs because they're sleeping down here. And I asked them if, there's a sink here. I asked them if, you know, the upstairs room where, where um, I'm sleeping was normally their room because I didn't want to inconvenience them. But they said they normally sleep down here. So what's been happening, um, I've been here this time. Um, I was gonna be here about nine days. Um, I usually come down about six in the morning and I chant with them. And this is, they're really nice. This is much bigger and nicer than I would have in my home or somebody. Um, I, again, I can't open this up, but through these doors here, there's what's called the Goanzen that we chant to. And they burn incense here. And this is where we chant. It's almost like a little, um, I don't know, temple downstairs. And this is where we come to chant every morning at 6 a.m. and um, in the evening together. Uh, both Amy and Yuhei are very, very devoted. They're, uh, in fact, their daughter too. Her da their daughter can, um, I've heard her chant. She chants the 32 pages, the, the prayer that we do very, very quickly. And she does it on her own. So I just wanted to videotape this as a memory um, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to put this on YouTube, but um, you know, in about 10 days I will be leaving here. Uh, I'm leaving Japan. I'm actually, actually Saturday. Turn this light off. This is the entryway. Now, while there's people here, normally they never lock the door. I'm now the only one here, so I'm not sure when I go out. She was going to give me a key. I should have probably told her if your husband's gone and you and your daughter's gone, should I lock up? But I don't have a key to even lock up. But normally we just leave this door open. And let's give you a perspective, it opens like this. It just opens up to the street. And um, right next door to this is uh, a Lawson's convenience store, literally just right out the door. So when I come in, I take my shoes off and uh, we're the customary when we're doing this Buddhist practice that we chant Nam Myoho Rinki Kyo three times when we come in or when we exit. I'm going to turn this light off. I think that there. See, I'm trying to do the right thing. There we go. Turn the light off. Again, we they keep this open when someone's here. But when they say when everybody leaves, they always close the Gwanzin. I mean the Busutan. So I'm gonna go back up where my computer is. See here. Turn all these. I'm trying to turn these lights off. I try to uh, save an electricity again. Customary to turn on, uh, take off your shoes. Okay, here all the lights are off. Umbrellas, <laughs> which is pretty customary. So when I come in, I basically come up these stairs and then um, if they're home, um, Amy and Yuhei, they're usually in this room here when there's a full house and their daughter is in her room. Sometimes she has the door closed. Again, I have my computer set up here because they're not home. And then I have the heater going, so it's kind of cool. Um, but this is the place. Now, when I come back, I've already decided when I come back to Japan, um, what happened is I met Amy about a year ago. She was the one that reintroduced me to Nomi Homeriki Kyo and Buddhism and offered for me to stay here. 
uh, a couple weeks when I visit, which saves me Airbnb fees. I'm still probably pay them something. Um, but the point is, I told her I want to try this to see how it works for everybody. So I stayed uh, three or four days when I first got here, and then I'm staying nine days now, and I really liked it. There's a there's some minor disadvantages like this particular place they don't have the heater and air conditioners and every room like in this room the the bedrooms uh, they only have that downstairs where many of the places I stay the Airbnbs uh, they've had the heater in every room so we've been using a space heater. So anyway, I'm going to close this out. This is more, more for my personal record. Maybe I might show this to my folks or some close friends. Um, but I just wanted to have this before I leave. I'm Saturday, December 8th, December 7th in the U.S., um, 2019. And I'm staying here tomorrow. We have an event at the temple tomorrow. But I'm going to be um, leaving on Monday and then starting kind of the last nine days of being here in Japan. So I'm going to sign off for now. Take care.